Hi, 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 hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Amusing Bill. And I got to warn you guys, I'm in a particularly silly mood today. I don't know why. Uh, beautiful day, I guess. I don't know. I'm a little, uh, you might hear it in my voice, a little uh, stuffed up, you know. I'm putting away all my Halloween decorations today. And, you know, I'm sure I kicked up a lot of dust and stuff. So uh, it may be a little, you know, I'm sneezing or whatnot. Um uh, I do have tissues on hand just in case Ren has me uh, you know, bawling. You know, you never know with Ren. Uh, this is a song that uh, everyone has been wanting me to do, and I'm really excited to doing it. Bongo bong, two really favorite words of mine. I know I have a set of bongos around here in this mess somewhere. Um, maybe even a couple sets, actually. Uh, and then we won't talk about the other, other word, uh, you know, on this channel, but uh, you get the idea. And listen, I decided uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my background. I did this in another video for, you know, a different uh, group of people. And, and I thought, well, you know what? I haven't really talked to you guys much about my background. You, you, you heard a little bit about my wife and our situation and about my, my sense of humor, but uh, musically, I just want to let you guys know uh, something about me, you know, if you're interested. And if not, you know, you can you can always fast forward it. But uh, I started out music as a baby. My father played trumpet and played a uh, soprano bugle in something called the Drum and Bugle Corps activity. Very big in the, the North America, really, especially in the Northeast. And as a baby, I was taken to the shows and... I was told I would stand right behind the drum major and I would conduct, you know, and uh, I always like loved drum corps and I loved uh, the music. The music was very intense. It got me into classical and jazz and so many other forms of music, show music. I, I really, I, I learned a lot from, from drum corps. It actually opened the gates to listening to all kinds of music. My father would listen to mostly doo-wop and 50s music, the stuff he grew up with. So that was always around in the house. Uh, as a kid, I would also loved, I loved something called Dr. Demento. I don't know if that was like available around the world. I know I have a lot of people from, from many different countries. So Dr. Demento played like a lot of wacky, crazy, silly songs. That's how Weird Al Yankovic got his start back in the day. And uh, I, I, I really loved uh, funny, wacky songs. Uh, I loved, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Monty Python and all the weird, funny songs that they would have, too. So, uh, you know, a, a lot of this uh, uh, is how I developed. Uh, and with drum corps, I tried to play trumpet. I sucked at it. I couldn't get it. You know, I, I, just, I just couldn't. I, I didn't know where the notes were, if you know what I mean. Uh, on a guitar, you, you have strings. You can see the notes. On a piano, you can see the notes. I don't know. As a kid, I, I just couldn't. I couldn't grasp it. I wish I did. But uh, instead, I would go to percussion. Actually, even before that, I fell in love with the guitar at a very young age, and like I mean, fell in love with the guitar. So I still own the guitar I've had since then. And I mean, I would fall asleep on the bed just playing the songs over and over and over again, practicing, practicing. Guitar wise, and by the way, drum corps led me into the heavy metal genre because drum corps is very intense, man. I mean, when you were a kid and you're out there, you know, outside and you got 75 horns blasting at you and, you know, your hair is blowing and your ears are ringing and it's just like an exciting experience. I kind of needed that intensity and I found it with heavy metal and I would listen to sabbath and priest and maiden and then i got into the underground thrash metal scene uh when i was playing guitar so it was right there at the very beginning of metallica um with uh what do you call it uh, uh even even before their demo tape i mean they were on a compilation album so i was into metallica even before kill em all came out and with the, in the very birth of of um thrash metal um all of those bands and, and we would just be sick about getting the newest stuff or, or trying to find the craziest stuff, the most out there. 
uh, a lot of imports and stuff. So it was it was a great time. It wasn't until my twenties I got back into drum corps, and I'd always followed the the activity. So I learned how to play drums, and I was playing bass drum and and uh, what they call the quads, which are the tenors. And I would uh, I would belong to the parade corps, and I would do competition corps, and and it was great fun. When I was in college, I got into uh, the orchestra and collegiate band and uh, Latin jazz percussion, learning bongos and congos and all the other great uh, Latin percussion. Uh, I did a winter drum line. So, um, uh, you know, it was really cool. Uh, you know, uh, I, I've had a lot of experience in music. I learned, I was an apprentice to learn how to play, how to make guitars. I was a luthier as an apprentice. Uh, even had my own little business going for a while. So there's a lot of aspects of music. And I've always loved music. I've always stayed on top of music. And I would have to, I got to tell you, in the last 20 years or so, I've just been so downtrodden on what's been out there. So I kind of have gone backwards and tried to really absorb like a lot of the old stuff that I may have not really been into at the time. I didn't get into the Beatles until like my my mid twenties, I would say. Uh, and now I have such a deep appreciation for the Beatles. So when Ren came along, my God, I was just like blown away. That first time I seen High Red, like holy cow, this is different. This is something. This is something I've never seen before in all of my years, in all of my experience in music. This is this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. Um, I was barred from from watching a lot of Ren stuff uh, because, um, you know, um, my wife's idea of hey, you know, maybe you should do these reaction videos. And I was getting into reaction videos actually during the the pandemic lockdown because like Elizabeth from uh, the charismatic voice when she would when she would react to uh, a Judas Priest song and just be like talking about oh my god his voice is gorgeous and you know the you know the way he was using his range and the way he pronounces and and his, his breath control and I was like this is an opera singer validating the music that I have loved my whole life you know I, it, it's hard for me to, to describe this unless you're in that same position, but metal has always been kicked around, discarded, kicked out off the block. Uh, Rolling Stone magazine didn't have a clue as to what was going on. It was even, even punk and hardcore got more respect than metal. Metal is far closer to classical music than, than any other kind of genre. I mean, when Judas Priest started to get away from blues bass and started to 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 work on you know different movements and, and having more dynamics and stuff, it changed the game. So I see that a lot in in Ren's music. It's what it's attracted me to Ren's music because so much of that is is lacking. You know, um, it's it's um, anyway. You know, I, I get back to Ren, but you know, I. I've played in so many different bands and, and we've recorded demos. I've written songs and published them. And, and um, I was even, I went from being lead guitar player in the eighties and in, in, in thrash metal bands. I even uh, joined as a, as a bass player in my friend's band and alternate rock band and did that for a while. So, you know, I've had a tremendous amount of, experience in music uh you can say um i know the history of music very well going all the way back to the at least the 1920s um even further than i know the history of so many instruments and and musical styles and whatnot so to see ren doing high red was like i'm witnessing um a modern day minstrel here this is someone who's doing something that's actually very ancient but yet in a very modern way he's incorporating so many styles and layers and let me tell you i've heard i read many 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 times and i catch new things all the time i catch new things when i go through a song uh you know i i maybe you know maybe it's the lyrics that catch me you know of course i'm gonna 
it hit me very hard. It was powerful. I, I cried. It was, it was like, holy shit, this, this guy is really able to convey himself in his music. And it was refreshing and new and, and crazy. And, and uh, you know, I was just so hooked. I just couldn't believe it. And then to find out his, his backstory and, and, and whatnot. So anyway, as I keep going on and on, but, you know, I, I like talking to you all. I, I'm in, really enjoying the comment sections on these videos, and I'm really trying hard to uh, to talk to a lot of people here as I'm still doing stuff around the house and, and, and you know, doing my thing around here. But uh, so many wonderful people in this community that has just got me, you know, so choked up. It's a, it's a wonderful, beautiful thing. That's another thing about Ren is how he's touched everybody on a human level. This is not just about the music. It's like, man, he is... He's hitting so many things. This particular song that I'm going to uh, watch for the first time, uh, everyone has been is telling me, "Oh, you got to really see it. this. Is just such a great, it's just such a great tune." I'll be honest with you, I'm not familiar with the original. It's it's a Manu Chao cover that they're doing here, so I, I'm really I don't even know what the what the original uh, song sounds like. Um, I could see by the picture here, it's going to be really interesting. I'm guessing that this is going to be one of those one take type of deals where uh you know they're just keeping the camera on them as they as they do their thing and um so let's get into this together you and i if you uh if you're not already a subscriber i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe it helps me out a lot and you know follow me on my journey here this has been great fun it's a great community and you know if you're new welcome to my little humble channel here I am going to leave a link in the description below if you are not familiar with this song. I like to give that sort of shout out, uh, that love back to the original artist. And that's really the way to to watch this anyway. Um, you know, you you probably already have seen it and you're just here to, to you know, watch how I <laughs> take this in and uh, which is awesome. So um, anyway, welcome and let's get on with the sh of the mumble papa was you threw a smile at me <laughs> all right okay 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 of the mumbo papa was king of the congo Tita in the jungle i stopped banging my first bongo every monkey likes to be in my place instead of me i'm the king of bongo baby i'm the king of bongo bong i went to the big town where there is a lot of sound from the jungle to big city looking for a bigger crowd but i play my boogie for the people of big city but they don't go crazy when i'm uh, i just gotta tell you i love the, that he's playing the mandolin romaine they sound freaking awesome. I like how Ren's keeping his, uh, the guitar way high on his chest. Uh, and that way you have a better angle on your fingers as you're playing. Uh, very, you know, it's a great way of uh, getting that, that great technique there. Um, got Goran out there. He's He's got his bass. And I, he's flying on that bass, too. That's, that's really cool. Uh, yeah, I've never heard this song. And, uh, they, man, they sound great. On the freaking roof. Uh, looks like they have a stationary camera I saw as the camera panned back. I'm going to rewind it a little bit and uh, because I think I see a tripod kind of in between, I guess it's Romaine and Goran. You know, it looks like they got a stationary camera over there and, and one that's just handheld going around. Um, the sound is phenomenal. The production looks great. Uh, shout out to Sam. I'm guessing that this is his work. Let's go back to... I, I, I love the tone the, the the tone of this, you know. It sounds light, kind of jumpy. You know, I like the fact that they're just chilling on the roof. It looks like it's almost sunset. Some drinks. Ah, oh, I want to hang out with these guys. It sounds like so much fun. Yeah, there's that camera. All right, cool. Come on. Where there is a lot of sound From the jungle to big city Looking for a bigger crowd But I play my boogie for the people of big city But they don't go crazy When I'm banging on my boogie I'm the king of the bongo King of the bongo bar Hear me when I come, baby King of the bongo King of the bongo bar Hear me when I come 
either I'm a clown making too much dirty sound. They say there is no place for little monkey in this town, so I play my boogie for the people of Bay City, but they don't go crazy when I'm banging on my boogie. I'm the king of the bongo, king of the bongo bar. Hear me when I come, baby. King of the bongo, king of the bongo bar. Hear me when I come. That was a great little section there, you know. Uh, you know, I I don't know if that is a, a mandolin or a or a ukulele. I'm honestly not sure. It doesn't, doesn't really quite look like a a mandolin. Kind of sounds like one, though. Yet it doesn't quite look like a ukulele. Either. I'm not sure. It's cool, though. Sounds great. Sounds really, really great. And uh, that little piece there with the guitar. Ooh, I want to learn that. That's so cool. That is nice. Nice. Let's see if I can... Uh, yeah, it looks like that's probably around the right spot there. Uh, yeah, oh, my God, the harmony. The harmony is, is so nice, too. These guys just harmonize so well. Now, I've already seen, like, a lot of their busking stuff. So, I mean, they have that kind of high energy. And I know how talented all these guys are. I've read so many comments uh, about, you know, that they play multi-instruments and... and um, you know, uh, they all sing and stuff. So that makes a big difference. I mean, that's one of the reasons why the Beatles were so great is their harmonies and and and, and their versatility as musicians. So, um, yeah, maybe these guys are like the next Beatles. You heard that, right? Uh, I really thought there'd be way more kazoo in this, though. Maybe next time. Hear me when I come. Kicking some ass on that little uh, four stringer. <laughs> that was really nice. That was really nice. Yeah, this is this is great. Thank you, everyone, for all those who have mentioned this particular song. And there have been many. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is great. <laughs> J'aimerais mourir tellement j'ai voulu le croire Parfois j'aimerais mourir pour ne plus rien avoir Parfois j'aimerais mourir pour plus jamais te voir Car je ne t'aime plus mon amour Parfois j'aimerais mourir tellement j'ai voulu le croire Parfois j'aimerais mourir pour plus jamais te revoir Parfois j'aimerais mourir pour ne plus rien savoir Non je ne t'aime plus mon amour Je ne t'aime plus Je ne t'aime plus tous les jours Oh, banging on my booby, oh, that swing belongs to me I'm so happy there's nobody in my place instead of me I'm a king without a crown, hanging loose in a big town Cause I'm the king of bongo, baby, I'm the king of bongo, bongo King of the bongo, king of the bongo, bongo Hear me when I come, baby King of the bongo, king of the bongo, bongo Hear me when I come, baby. King of the bongo, king of the bongo, bongo. Hear me when I come, baby. King of the bongo, king of the bongo, bongo. Wait a minute now. Hold on a second now. Hold on. Hold on. 
Wow. That was freaking great. That was freaking great. I mean, I know Romaine is uh, is uh, French, so that, that shouldn't surprise me. But yet I was still surprised and it sounded so sweet and silky and and uh, it was just beautiful. I loved it. <clears throat> that was so damn cool. I want to, uh, if you will indulge me, I want to try to get that last, looks like it's around there. I love that harmony at the end. Just so nice. Um, all their voices mixed together so well, yet I can hear the in the, their individual places. You know, Ren's, Ren's in that upper uh, register. Looks like he's about, he's got a good interval above uh, the other two. And uh, it just, it just makes it so, so nice. And I got it. I just got to hear this again. You want to hear it again? Great. Because we are. I'm a king without a crown, hanging loose in a big town. Cause I'm the king of bongo, baby. I'm the king of bongo, bongo. King of the bongo, king of the bongo, bongo. Hear me when I come, baby. King of the bongo, king of the bongo, bongo. Hear me when I come, baby. King of the bongo, king of the bongo, bongo. Hear me when I come, baby. King of the bongo, king of the bongo. That was fire, right? Holy cow. No wonder there was like a, a thousand people like, bong, 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 bong. and uh, I'm glad I got to do it. That's great. That's great. I've hit, you know, there's been some heavy ones I've hit lately from, from Ren and company there. Uh, holy cow. So uh, this one was, uh, this was nice. This is like, uh, again, it's like a, an easing on the soul, right? And I love the harmonies at the end. It was so beautiful and it was just so nice. Um, and the whole atmosphere is nice. It feels like, you know, you're, you're hanging out with them right up there, you know, having a few cocktails and, and just chilling out on the rooftop, playing your instruments. Beautiful job, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I'm going to go back and, and eventually try to try to find the, the original of this song uh, just to see how how uh, the Big Push has, you know, did it in their own way. And I know that uh, when I when I watched uh, War Pigs and uh, Painted Black, holy cow, did they do their own thing. So I'm totally into checking out the original Mano Chao cover uh, song and seeing where they took it. So thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, I really appreciate you all. I really do. Um, please like, please subscribe, please leave your thoughts in the comment section there. I will uh, be right with you and, um, and see what you got to say and, and where my direction goes. I know a lot of people want chalk outlines, and yes, it's going to be coming up. I know uh, Romaine uh, has just released some new music. I want to check that out, too. And I know that my dear Chinchilla has also put out new music. Um, so I want to check that out as well. Uh, I know the Beatles just put out a brand new song. I know it sounds freaking crazy. So I think I want to react to that as well. I hope you join me for those. And um, until the next time, love you all. Thanks for being with me. And peace out. Till the next time.